What is up guys? I'm back with another tweak for jailbroken and iOS devices. This new tweak is called Spring Tools and it's a UI tweak for the springboard of uh, iOS 10. And uh, basically what this tweak enables you to do is to pick a custom shapes for your icons from a list of around 20 entries, 20 shapes. Uh, it also enables you to make them drop a shadow on the background. And in addition, it has some experimental features on which I'm, for which I'm waiting for your feedback. And if you uh, like them and want to see them improved, just contact me, uh, send me an email or something. And if there's an interest in them, I will try to find time in order to improve them so that you can use them, so that you can customize the springboard of your device the way you want. The tweak is uh, free and at the time you're watching this video you should be able to download it from uh, Cydia directly without adding any additional sources because it will be hosted on the Big Boss repo and that's a default repo which comes pre-bundled with Cydia. So just search for Spring Tools and you should already be good to... and you, sh and you should be able to download it directly. So let's show, let me show you a quick demo of the tweak. This is the the default look of the springboard of my iPhone 6s running iOS 10.2.1 with the Yahoo jailbreak. And oh, actually, it's not the default look. I have installed a round dock and also cylinder for the page transitions. And once you have installed Spring Tools, uh, you will be able to go inside the settings app and observe additional row called Spring Tools next to your rows for other um, Cydia tweaks that you have installed and have settings pane. So go inside Spring Tools and uh, you can find various options and f which can be configured for page icons and dock icons separately. Uh, like for example, as I've already said, you can choose a shape from a, from more than a 20 possible shapes. You can enable shadows and things like that. And the, those experimental features that I've uh, talked to you about are, hmm, how to say it, they're not dangerous to your device in any way they won't I haven't observed a springboard crash from them or something like that the problem with them is that sometimes they won't trigger for some icons and their uh, uh, and the hook location for them should be changed from inside the tweak but uh, at this point I'm having a really hard time to find appropriate location so that is why I've decided to release the tweak in that form and, in, and if there's an interest I'll try to find time in order to improve it. So let me let me show you what the tweak will look after we enable it. So that's the almost stock look without the tweak enabled. Let's enable it and respring the device in order to apply the changes. So as you can see, I have applied a circular shape for the page icons and the, for dock icons, I've, I have chosen the default shape. I have uh, also make all of the icons drop shadow on the background, but it's kind of hard to observe the shadows on the page icons. Maybe as I did this transition and the icons overlap, you can see how they 
drop shadow on it on the shadow on the icons below them but the shadow is cl clearly visible for the dock icons and that's the shadow with the strongest intensity uh, you can uh, alter the intensity and color from here and it's offset also you can change uh, the position of the shadow relative to the icon and that's all about the features that are currently uh, working just fine and uh, those experimental features I will now enable them in order to show you what they look like let me first pick more interesting shape for dock icons yeah, so I will enable animate shape and satellite dots. Look now what will happen. So animate shape is making the mask of the icon rotate in that way and satellite dots are those white dots around the icon which are moving uh, which are orbiting around its center. Possible future improvements to this feature might be to introduce a possibility to change the satellite shapes to like to something like triangles or uh, squares or something like this, not only circles me know what you think about this and I make and I made uh, make and I may introduce the option to alter this shape in future versions and that's all about the tweak that I can show you in the background here you can see the git repo for the project it's uh, the repo is Spring Tools, it's hosted in GitHub from my account. It has a sample of uh, Xcode project in which I have tested all the animations. This right here is the Teos project which is uh, compiled and uh, is actually what you are seeing right now. Uh, it has some, I have some sample images, some of which I have shown in the readme file and they are showing the various shapes that you can pick for uh, icons here are some of the most interesting shapes and uh, yeah that's all about the tweak thanks for your time and have a nice day